Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. For today's topic, I've chosen on Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan Yojana. So this is a very important topic uh, as it came recently yesterday in the news as well. And so today we're going to talk, uh, we're going to have a brief overview about this scheme, about this Yojana when it was first launched, right? As well as we're going to cover some of the economic uh, relief packages under this uh, Yojana as well. And we're also going to talk about the recent updates on the schemes as well as some of the challenges that may, we may be facing because of all of these right and my name is Hansa Nora and I've done my bachelor's in horticulture and I've also completed my master's in nematology and agriculture so without wasting any time let's move on for this uh, with the session right so, but before going uh, further if you guys haven't subscribed to our channel yet you can also subscribe and you can also press the bell icon for further notifications from uh, our channel for the upcoming exams as well and if you've liked the video don't forget to hit the thumbs up button right so the first thing yeah, Pradhan Mandri Garib Kalyan Yojana. So this scheme, it was primarily launched by the Prime Minister Narendra Modi uh, in India. It was first launched in the year 2016 on December, okay? And the time period for this was for about December 2016. Uh, like 16 till March 31st, 2017. So at that time, what were the objectives of this um Yojana. So the first objective, as you can see here, is that the part it was made as a part of this taxation law. Okay, it was under the Second Amendment Act of 2016. So this scheme would provide an opportunity to declare an unaccounted wealth and black money in a more of it in a confidential manner, right? And it would also uh, avoid prosecution after paying a fine of about 50%. Right, and an additional twenty five percent of the undisclosed income is investment in this in, is also invested in this scheme, and this uh, can also have been refunded after four years, and this will not include any interest. All right, so this is a brief overview about this. Uh, Yojana, right, and recently uh, on March uh, for the economic uh, COVID-19 relief fund, this Pradhan Mantri uh, Garib Yojana was compiled along with the new measures, okay? So the first thing that you need to understand here is that the Union Finance Minister and Corporate Affairs announced a package of about 1.7 crore relief package under this uh, Yojana, okay? And this Yojana is especially, specifically for the poor people to fight against the battle of coronavirus pandemic. Okay, so remember that and these package they include the uh, range of measures that the government of India it will also take to elevate more of it into a form of economic as well as health and food related distress of the India's poor. So it will complete it will check all our um, economic security, health security as well as food security. So these three major things that you guys need to remember. Okay. And now let's move on. So the uh, it has a different components under this Yojana, right? So the first one is insurance scheme. The second one is PM Garib Kalyan on Yojana, okay? And the third one is benefit to the farmers. The fourth is cash transfers. The fifth is self-help groups. And we also have other components, which includes employees provision fund, as well as uh, the welfare fund. Okay, so these are the components under this uh, Yojana, right? And now let us look into a bit more detail about this Yojana, okay? So uh, the first thing here was on the insurance schemes for the health workers which, who were fighting against this COVID-19, right? So these are all for the health workers. And um, all these health workers will uh, be ranging from the Safai to the ward boys, the nurses, ASHA workers, paramedics, technicians, the doctors, scientists, all of that will be covered under this scheme. And these, uh, and the governments, the health centers, okay, so the coverage would be for all the governments, uh, hospitals, the wellness centers of, uh, maybe it from the center as well as from the states will also be covered under this scheme. And uh, one thing, who will be benefiting from this? any health professional while treating the COVID-19 patients uh, when they meet with some kind of accident, then he or she, the person will be compensated with an amount of about rupees 
50 lakh under the scheme okay and approximately about 22 lakh health workers will be provided insurance cover to fight this pandemic so these are more specifically for the uh, health workers right so that's number one and second is for the uh, Garib uh, Kalyan on for the Garib Kalyan on Yojana which is mostly for the food security so what happens here is that under the scheme around 80 crore people right they who uh, which covered about one third of the country's population they all of them they will be getting five kilo of rice or wheat each month for the next three months so this was called out in march right so for the next three months would be from um uh, april may until june so to 30th of june was the last date for this okay and they will be in addition they will also get a five in addition to that the five kg they already get okay so this will be the uh, first thing that you guys need to remember the second point that you guys need to remember is that each household will also get an additional of one kilo of dal of their choice right so this is also for the uh, same month consecutive months of april may and june okay and these are all free of charge and uh, they also this is mostly done to ensure the adequate availability of all the protein and all the food nutrients to all the above mentioned people which is the poor people right and so one kg per family would be provided by the pulses according to the regional preferences right so these are something on this very Palyan on yojana and now moving on to the another one here is which this the benefits to the farmers right so for the benefit to the farmers they have went across, uh, under the scheme of pm kisan okay so what ha well, what will happen here is that they will be getting the installments of 2000 due to them which will be on april first installment will be was given on the april okay which is the financial uh, first month of the financial year okay and more about this is that uh, these farmers will be benefiting to the PM Kisan scheme. And so usually the farmers, they receive about 6,000 every year to the scheme, right? And here, what they did was that they already paid about 2,000 due to the, uh, in the first installment has been already paid. So who will be covering it? How many farmers will be covering, co covered under this? It would cover about 8.7 crore farmers, okay? So these things that you guys need to remember, right? Another point here, another component here is on the uh, cash transfers and other benefits, all right? So here, uh, about around three crore people, pensioners, about see, 60 years and widows as well as the disabled people will be given rupees 1000 in two installments right and the second point here is that around two poor uh, people uh, women holding this jandan yojana account they will also get rupees uh, 500 in a month another thing the 8.3 crore uh, poor households uh, they will receive a cooking gas connection through this ujwala Scheme, right and they would get free gas cylinders so even in MN regular wages they would also increase by rupees 20 all right so with the effect from April right so the wage increase under the MN regular will provide an additional above of about rupees 2,000 benefit for the annually for the workers as well so this will give them a benefit about 2,000 annually under this MN Raga, so they were get so if there was an increase of about rupees twenty before the min the wage was around one eighty two rupees okay per day and now since twenty rupees have been added so they'll be getting about two hundred and two rupees per day okay so these are some of the things and uh, moreover the states can also use the money which are un uh, available under the direct mineral funds for medical screening uh, for testing as well as for the treatment as well so these are some of the things that you guys need to remember okay and other than that we also have the uh, wagers or the earners who are earning below rupees of uh, 15,000 a month in a business having more less than about a uh, hundred workers then the government will also propose to pay about 24 percent of their monthly wages into their pfs accounts for the next three months so it will be for 
uh, Mar April, May, and June, right? So these are some of the things under the cash transfers under this PM Garib uh, Kalyan Yojana, okay? I hope that is clear. And now let's move on to another one, which is self-help groups. So under the self-help groups, there will be a limit of collateral free, which will be lending will, will be increased from rupees 10 to uh, rupees 20 lakhs. So from rupees 10 lakhs to 20 lakhs will be increased, okay? So this will be under for the self-help groups. And last one and the other components for the uh, employees provident fund regulations. So what will happen here? Uh, is that the it will be amended to include uh, this employee provision uh, fund regulations regulations these were uh, this will be amended to include the pandemic as a reason to allow the non-refundable advances of about 75 percent of the amount of uh, in this along this three months of these wages and whoever is lower from their accounts okay and the second one here is on the welfare fund, okay? So this welfare fund is mainly for the building and other construction workers. So the state government will be given the directions to utilize this welfare funds and the uh, for building and the construction workers, and they will provide assistance and support to these workers to protect them against any other economic disruptions, all right? So I hope these are clear. So these are the main six components under the uh, PM Gurib Kalyan Yojana. All right. And now let us look into some of the recent changes that has been done uh, due to this uh, COVID-19. Okay. So uh, we're just have going to have an overview of this. So this recent change in the scheme. All right. So it was done uh, yesterday. It was on June 30th. So on June 30th, Prime Minister, he announced more additional benefits under the scheme so this was mostly a targeted for the uh, pm garib uh, kalyan and yojana okay which is mainly for the food security right and this is also known as the world's largest food security scheme so this is very important so jot this down guys all right and this was announced as a package for this covid 19 pandemic so the scheme it was announced for the three month period right and the, so the three month period would end by June 30th. So what happened now is that the scheme will be extended further till November. And okay, and they will be distributing free food grains to the poor, right? So this scheme, they already covered about 80 uh, crore Russian card holders, right? And each household was also provided about five kilo of the food grains and which includes either uh, rice or wheat along with the one kg of pulses which includes only chana okay and these were all free of cost right so and the eligible uh, uh, individuals were also receive about five kilograms of these food grains and one kilogram per month for a period of three months right so but now this has been all of these will be extended for the five more months which is still november right and so all this extension it will cost the government of about ninety thousand crore rupees so this is very important again guys try to uh jot it down try to remember this point that i'm pointing it out right now okay and uh, moreover some points that you guys need to remember is that according to the union food and public distribution uh, ministry right so about 116.02 lakh tons of food grains they have already been lifted under this scheme okay so uh this point is also very important the second point here is that around 21 states have already been appealed to this center to extend the scheme for another three months that is till september right and another thing uh third point Food Corporation of India has also stated that the sufficient, there is a sufficient stock of the food grain as well. And the fourth point, around rupees 50,000 crore has been already spent on providing the employment opportunities to the poor and for the rural people and the rural areas, right? And Safai, Nikaram Charis, and the ward boys, nurses, ASHA workers, and all of these health workers and other they will be provided with a cover of about rupees 50 lakh, right? So these are the points to remember, the important points that you guys need to remember, right? And now let's move on to another side of the challenges. So before going to the challenges, let's just 
probably talk about the positive points of these uh, yojana, right? So under this positive point, points, what we can come out is that this can actually conveys covers various sections of the vulnerable, uh, which can be ranging from the farmers till the health workers as well, right? And uh, that it, it has also made a use of the existing um, uh, schemes like PM Kisan in the package. And this will also help in retaining the control over the deficit as well, right? Then well, that's another point that the, it gives a positive points for this. And they also <clears throat> offer to pay both the employer and the employee's contribution to the provision, provident fund for uh, especially for the very small business enterprise and this will also offer to those business that have been forced to shut down in the operations as well so this will also be included but and some of the challenges and the negative points is that uh, when the usually when the daily were daily wage earners they are supposed to remain uh, locked in their homes right so they only compensate will be under the MN regulars and it is through an unemployment allowance as well. So, and another point that corporate sectors as well as the middle class uh, people, they are not the beneficiaries of this, it's only the rural people. So it's not for the whole of the people, right? So a lot of people, uh, whole of the middle class people as well as the uh, corporate sectors won't be getting any benefits from this. <clears throat> Another point here, the first point, you can see that certain groups of daily workers and informal workers may also be left out, right? So as the uh, uh, this package, it seems to reach only those who are connected to have bank accounts and formal payment systems. And some people, some of the poor people, even today, they do not have uh, these uh, bank accounts and proper financial uh, payment uh, payments, right? Uh, proper, proper payment system as well. So because of that, only certain group of uh, daily uh, wagers and some informal workers, uh, they might be high chances of them being uh, left out right and another point a very important point is the fiscal deficit of this so basically the fiscal deficit is a difference between what a government earns and what it spends and it is this fiscal deficit it is expressed in the terms of or in the percentage of a gdp right and according to the latest data uh, that we have uh, that we've got is that uh, the india's budgetary fiscal deficit for april and may period which is uh, of 2020 to 21 they stood at the rupees of about 4.66 lakh crore and which in terms if you convert it into percentage it will come up to 58.6 percent of the budget estimate which has been done All right so for this year for the uh, for this year for fiscal year of uh, uh, 2020 to 21 the government has already targeted a fiscal deficit of about rupees 7.96 lakh crore right and the government's total uh, total expenditure will also uh, it stood at about 16.8 percent of the beneficiary sorry sorry of the budget estimate while the total receipts or the total earning was only about two percent of the uh, budget estimate so this thing it causes a lot of uh, problem uh, in the year of if you can look back in the year of 2019 to 20 the central government they ran a fiscal deficit above of about 4.6 percent of the gdp which was against the plant which was about 3.5 right and and this year this current in this current financial year as well it is expected to go in the same way and especially with the economy expected to contract during this year because of this uh, pandemic right and so the government is in a grave da danger and the state government may not as earn as much of tax as they had hoped and now that might be creating a problem and in that way we might have to pay more taxes and this will also impact everyone right so the uh, the fiscal deficit of the government and the state government can also cross about for about 10 percent uh, of the GDP during this year, which was from the current, which is about 72, around 7.5%. These are some of the challenges that we might be facing, all right? And so, guys, this is all for today's topic. I hope this is clear. And if you guys are not still not clear, or if you guys have any doubts or queries, uh, don't hesitate to drop in the comments section. 
and we we'll do reply to you guys and if you want you can also reach out to us right and we can always uh, clear your doubts and your queries as well before going if you guys haven't subscribed you can subscribe to our channel and you can also press the bell icon for further notifications and then if you have liked the video don't forget to hit the thumbs up button as well thank you